So now our website has two different types of templates. It's got this index.php file, which defaults as our home page template. And then we have this page.php file, and this is for any pages we add inside of the admin section here. Right now we just have these two pages, about us and sample page. So as we continue to add more pages here in this section only, they're going to have a certain look and that look is defined by this file page.php which we've created here. Okay, so this is our home page here, but if we go to about us for example from the nav menu, it looks a little different. We've removed that jumbotron. Okay, so what if we wanted different types of pages though? What if we wanted one layout that was kind of full width like this and left aligned here, but then another one that's kind of slimmer and kind of more centered. Well, we can do that and really have as many templates as we want using page templates. And the way you do that, there's a couple of ways, and I'll show you one of the most common ways. We can go in here into our theme folder, right click on it, and say new file. And then in here we'll say page dash this time. And right next to it we add a slug. A slug is just a kind of identifier, just some text to kind of describe what this uh, template's going to be about. And let's just call it slim.php. And we'll make a slimmer, kind of more centered type of page template. So we'll hit enter. And now we'll be able to choose between either of these. And we can create as many of these as we want. And we'll be able to choose from them when we create a page here and we, when we edit these pages as well. So Let's go ahead and double click page-slim.php and open it up. And we're just going to copy all of this code from page.php. Just copy all of it and paste it over to page slim. Now, one difference we have to make is right up here, we need to change this text or really just add a line here at the top of this comment block. That's what this is. This is a PHP comment block. Right here, we're going to add a line of code, or really just a comment saying template name. And you got to spell it out exactly like that with the, quote, the colon after it. And then give it a name. We'll just call it slim page. This is what's going to show up in the admin section when we create or edit our pages. So if I save that, and let's just make some noticeable changes here. We'll uh, change this h2 to an h1 for the page title and we'll also give it a class of text center make sure you do that properly so class right next to your h1 tag there we're giving it a class attribute of text center so look at that very carefully and make sure you have it exactly like that pause the screen if you need to as always so i'm going to save this file now Okay, and I'm going to go over to Pages, and I'm just going to create a new page. I'm going to say Add New, and this time, if you look to the left, just by doing what we just did, we created a new page template in our file directory, and by doing that, now we have this kind of new block here that says, okay, well, we can have some page attributes. We can apply a different template. We can use the default template, which is just page.php, or we can apply our new one. So let's try that. Let's apply this new one here. And we'll just make up a new page here. We'll call it the FAQ page for frequently asked questions. And that'll be the title. And we'll just say this is our FAQ page from the Slim template. So I'll publish that. By clicking Publish, it saves it to our database. And then we can see this is the URL that's been assigned to this page now. And I can just click that to see what this is going to look like. And there we go. We have this kind of centered style now for our header text. But it is still pretty wide. We can shorten that up and kind of slim out this page. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. The way we can do that is just apply some bootstrap magic. So if we go to the bootstrap website, and remember, I'm using bootstrap 3 right now. So just kind of follow along. You should be using version 3 as well. And I'm going to go over here 
to the grid system. So I'll go to CSS and click on the grid system. And basically, if you read this, to get your page to kind of slim down, you want to use their grid system. And we want to basically occupy kind of the middle few grids here, uh, columns. So we'll do something like that. We'll just occupy the middle six columns. And we can do that by nesting our content inside of a div labeled row. Okay, we can only use these columns when we nest inside of a div labeled row. So let's do that. Go over here, make sure you're in your page slim template. And so inside of the container class, we're going to add another div and give it a class of row. And we'll grab that closing tag that's auto generated from cloud nine and put it just above the closing container div. And then we need to tab all of this stuff, the PHP loop, inward. Remember, that's called the loop. Okay, and then we need to do another div inside of all of this. So we'll say div. And this time we'll say class equals. And let's go over here and look at Bootstrap. We'll say six columns. We want to occupy six columns and offset it by three on the left. We want to occupy kind of the center six and be offset by three on the left. So we can do that by inserting something like this. So inside the class, I'll say column medium six. And then to see how offsets work, they have an example of that down below as well. And I can just search for it. There we go. So you just insert the word offset in between the size and the number. So I'll go over here and I'll say column-medium-offset3. So let's see if this works. I'm going to close that div out down here. And then tab all this PHP stuff inward again. You just select it and hit your tab key. So if I save that now, Go over to our FAQ page and refresh. There we go. We're starting to see that we've got this slimmer template at play. And let's edit this page. So I'm going to go back, or we can just click this edit button right here. So I'm going to click that. So you're in your pages section. We're going to edit this. And let's inject a little bit more text. So there's an easy way to kind of add dummy text or placeholder text to your website. If you just go to Google and search for lorem ipsum that's latin and we're just going to kind of get some dummy text in here i'm going to click on this first one called lipsum.com you can see the url right there lipsum.com and what we'll do is we'll just grab some of their dummy text and i'll grab this first paragraph right here so that way we're not plagiarizing we're just grabbing some text i'm going to copy all of that and then just kind of hit enter here and paste it as kind of like the second line of our frequently asked questions page. I'm going to click update and then I can click this view page button over here to see the results. And there we go. Now we're seeing this kind of being a much more slim page. If I right click and I hit inspect element, we're seeing that it's occupying kind of the center six columns and it's offset by three columns on the left. And you can see that with the orange area there. Okay, so we've just created two different templates. We've learned now how to create templates. You can create as many of these page templates as you want so that you can have like slightly different looks and feels for the different kinds of pages that you have. I just wanted to demonstrate for you how that works. And there's a few ways to do that. If you look up WordPress page template, in Google, you'll find there's a web page that describes how you can kind of create these page templates. And there's many different ways. We use the slug formatting right there with page, and then we gave it slim right there, and then .php. Uh, you can also use page-id, where you use a number, and so on. So we're using the slug way to do it. And that's the way I've seen that most theme editors are done or theme templates are done. So we'll go over here now 
And just to show you the differences, this is our slim template. And if we click here on About Us, this is going to be our full width template. If I right click on this and hit Inspect Element, the content, content that shows here will occupy the full width of the page. So we've got two different types of pages. And you could go, you know, it doesn't just have to be limited to layout like width. You could add a sidebar on the right for certain templates. You could add a, a call out at the top for certain templates, different background colors. You can get really creative with how you want the different pages of your site to look. So I'm going to go back over here and just do one last thing. Go over to the page.php template. And I'm going to change this to h1 tags because just as a side note, you don't have to do that, but most pages should have at least one h1 tag on the page being kind of the main title or main call out, and that's for search engine optimization purposes. So I'm going to save that and go back here and refresh. And there we've got our About Us page. And if I go over here to the URL and type in FAQ and hit Enter, we've got our slim template applied to our FAQ page. Okay, and just to review, we can always change that up when we go to our pages section here in the admin section, hit edit or create a new page. And to the right, you'll see this page attributes area where you can assign which template you want to be using for each page. And just as a final reminder, these show up based on the fact that we go over here and in our page slim, we have this one line of comment code right here where it says template name colon slim page. Just by adding that and creating a new template file here called page-slim, WordPress recognizes that there is now another type of template that we can use over here in the admin section other than the default page.php template.